What up, HVAC people? How y'all doing out there today? Hope everybody's doing wonderful. Do a quick video on uh, the VFD drive going out in alarm. Um, <clears throat> the customer said that it'll run for about four hours uh, or even a day and it'll shut off on a SC alarm. And that, I don't know exactly what that alarm is yet. I, I need to look it up on the manual, but it's not doing it now. So I checked the voltage, um, take all my voltage, take my amps. It's rated for 9.6 amps on the motor. I'm getting like six or seven amps, which is good. I'm getting uh, the correct voltage going to the motor my uh and, and so and another technician looked at it he said he could put it in he could put the motor in and drive you know bypass in manual and it'll run all day it won't shut off on this these vfds are very sensitive sometimes and they can shut off on any little thing this motor been replaced about a year ago uh, 8216 and like I say I did an installation test on it and I don't think the motor is bad uh, the insulation is good it's not grounded and like I say it'll run and drive so it it could be this uh, the VFD drive but first what I notice is that this belt the back belt is, is uh, loose so, and I just ran the VFD and auto and it, and it ran pretty good. I haven't ran it for four hours or a whole day, but this back left, I mean, this back belt is real loose. And when I turned it on, the motor shakes a little bit. So I'm gonna try to tighten it up and try to get these belts even. And hopefully that solved the problem reason why I got a little torque in it so I'm not gonna be able to show a video of me troubleshooting this the whole time because it could take a while before I can figure out what's going on on it uh, the bearings look like they've been greased pretty good but hopefully I tighten this belt up good may may you need me change these belts and look at the groove see these belts are different too I, I just noticed this Look at the grooves on these and look at the grooves on those. That that's not good. I put the same uh, bet on there. And I'm not gonna go with an AX, I'm just gonna go with an A, two A56. And uh, hopefully that'll change it. Um, <clears throat> so that's what I got. So I'm gonna turn it on though. I'm gonna turn the drive on. And maybe you can see the little shake that I'm talking about. But we're gonna put two identical belts on there. And hopefully that's all the problem. So I got it off right here. Let me shut this door first so it won't slam. It's in auto. I'm gonna put it in drive. And it's just start ramping up slowly. And I will find out that alarm, what it means. I already got it pulled up. I just got to uh I guess I shouldn't show my pad where. This is the manual. It's a, it's a 106 page manual. How can I go right to the page? I had to put it in. I don't know if y'all can, can see this or not. See a troubleshooting chart? 
but we can narrow it down once I get the alarm. Like I said, I got here like 7 in the morning. It's 1026 right now. So I could be all day troubleshooting this unit. Um, and th they called me out to verify um, what it was. The, tech the other technician says the motor not trying to override them but I'm not too sure about that it could be but like I say I checked the insulation chest and I checked the ground and he was on the phone with tech support and like I say these VFDs are to take any little thing in the motor but I want to try it may not be the belt but I want to at least try this first before we go to replace it Second so bad. So I think we gotta fix this first. I seen worse of shape, but uh, before we say it's the drive, which these things are very expensive, we need to change these belts first and then I'll diagnose from that. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna go run and get some belts. Hopefully, if it go out in alarm, hope it go, goes out in that alarm that he said it is. Uh, but I, <clears throat> I need to see it go out on that alarm myself. Um, like I said, I would take his word for it, but uh, it sent me out to verify that it was, uh, um, it's a bad drive. So I just want to see that alarm myself. Hopefully it'll go out in there four hours or before. So I'm just going to leave it running. And hopefully when I get back, it goes out in that alarm. But I haven't seen it go out in the alarm yet. So I'm going to get those belts changed and See, we'll go from there. All right. Uh, I may make a video on me. Uh, probably not change no bells out, but I, I might. But uh, y'all have a great week.